I work for the U.S. Geospatial Intelligence Foundation. I'm a former uh, hippie college professor. That means I'm a former college professor. I'm still a hippie, but I am working for the military industrial complex, and that's pretty much what uh, USGIF is about. And you might wonder why USGIF is sponsoring an event like this, uh, so um, I'll be happy to tell you. Uh, we have a new director, and I see, I see an NGA colleague in here. We have a new director of NGA, Leticia Long, uh, who is in her first year and announced at uh, our event, the GWENT Symposium last fall, that uh, one of her priorities is online, on demand, the power of GWENT in your hands. So uh, paralleling what we're doing in this community uh, is, is occurring in government and industry uh, for purposes of national security. So I want to tell you a little bit about uh, USGIF. First of all, we're very very pleased to be a sponsor for this event. What you're doing here, advancing the boundaries of geospatial is very important to our community. Here's a list of some of our strategic partners. We have 175 uh, corporate government and academic members uh, as organizations. These are our top members. And you see some fairly big names in that list. So we exist, we're a 501c3 not-for-profit educational foundation. And as academic director, I'm working to cultivate and develop academic programs. We, we are investing in geospatial education at universities all across the country and looking at ways that we can invest in K-12 education as well. Here's a couple of events that we do, the GEOIN Symposium in October in San Antonio. It's a major trade show. It's the largest intelligence community event uh, in, in the world. We also do an event in the spring, a somewhat smaller scale, called the GEOIN Community Week. And we're working to develop something uh, that I call where.gov, but the name is at yet, as yet uh, undetermined, and we may offer that in March, but that's still, that's still a little bit up in the air. So what we're doing with neo-geography in this community, the idea is that we are all sensors today. You know, we are all geolocated and providing information. Why does this matter? Uh, because spatial intelligence is a very important thing, as everybody in this room recognizes. And you're probably familiar with the theory of multiple intelligences developed by Howard Gardner. You know, you know some mathematical savants, some musical savants, uh, gifted athletes and so forth, uh, many of us are gifted with a, a good spatial sense. And that's what we're trying to bring to the GEO community, is this sense of spatial reasoning, more than just buttonology, more than just pushing buttons in software, this ability of how we use information. I call this cartographic cubism because we are trying to look at things from multiple dimensions, and I think that's in, in effect what we're doing with geospatial data in these modern technologies. The ability to manipulate data and look at it from a variety of, um, and I'm, there we go, um, on to the next uh, slide here. Uh, this is the effect, when you're thinking about cubism, we're trying to see things in multiple dimensions across a two-dimensional surface. Of course, that's being transformed by some of the technologies as our three-dimensional capabilities advance. And finally, what I want to tell you is that this is a, a right brain, left brain kind of experience. So it blends, this is the, the, the intersection of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it's more than just, you know, logical, reasoning, you need that creative thing because from a national security context, the threat is coming from un unknown sources all the time. And we have to stay one step ahead in order to protect our, our world, our society. And that's sort of the essence of geospatial intelligence from my perspective. But of course, as I mentioned before, I am a former hippie college professor. So I want to thank you very much for listening to me for what is almost four minutes. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the presentations this evening. Thank you.